You may have heard and seen the video we released just yesterday announcing that we would be having services at Journey Church as usual this coming weekend. Since that time and with the announcement of the president regarding COVID-19, as well as direction from our state and local leaders and our authorities, with school and university closings, including our own Christian Life School closing, we made a decision to go online only at Journey Church for the next two weekends. So, no live services at any of our campuses this coming weekend or next. Our church offices will still be open during the week at all campuses, but other activities, including midweek, children, and youth activities, will be closed. Other information can be found on our website as things develop. Please know this was a decision met with a lot of thought and a lot of prayer. We ask your good grace and support as we navigate really an unprecedented time together. It's not a decision we made based on fear, but we're responding to those in authority over us. We aren't facing a situation where government is trying to keep us from worshiping together, only requesting that we would be part of responding to people's health and well-being. We want to cooperate with that. So the great thing is that the church can still meet together. We love big church at Journey. The large group gathering is awesome, but we also love real church, gathering in groups and homes all over our region to encourage one another and to care for one another, to pray for one another, to lift each other up. That's something that you can't do that well in a larger gathering. So in that way, church is still on, isn't it? Yeah. So gather with your family, gather with some friends, gather with your life group. Let's do church this weekend and next, just at your house. And in the meantime, I would ask you to pray in several ways. First, pray for folks who have already been impacted by this virus. We believe in a God who miraculously heals still today. Pray for good health for those who haven't been impacted physically at this point. And then remember that our hope is in Christ and in his soon return. These things should awaken us to the need to share that hope with everybody around us. This is not a setback. This is an opportunity. We love you and we look forward to seeing you online this weekend. Three opportunities, Saturday at 6 and Sunday at either 9 or 11 a.m. I'll be bringing the message in our Valleys to Victor series on the book of Psalms. Let's have the greatest attendance we've ever had online. We'll see you then.